What's up, Fergus Connoisseurs? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Charm City, and we appreciate you tuning in. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. These are all free to you, but it helps us to promote the channel. Today, we are going to do a review on By Killian's new fragrance, Smoking Hot. Okay. I was able to get a pre-release box of it. However, this is not a promotional video. Don't, I did not get it gifted to me and I paid with it for my, with my own money. Therefore, I'm gonna give you my unbiased view on how this new fragrance by Killian's performs, how it smells and what kind of vibe I get from it. So stay tuned for chasing identification and we'll get right into it. All right, we're back. Again, we're going into a full review of By Killian's Smoking Hot. I bought it on the official By Killian's website and it was a pre-release opening that they were allowing people to buy just if you got on the website at that time. That actual website link has been taken down so you can't order pre-release anymore. However, it is supposed to go on full retail release on September 4th. So we're gonna get into it. We'll start with going through the actual notes. Then I'll go into the presentation, go into the box, and then we'll do a spring. I'll give you my initial impressions. Then we'll come back after it's had a chance to dry down. Then I'll give you my final impressions. I'll give you the characteristics of the longevity the projection, the CIs, the, uh, if it's gender neutral or unisex, or if it's masculine or feminine leaning and price value. And then I'll give you an overall rating. So by Killian was pretty cheesy in, in my standpoint, I'm going to read, uh, what it talks about when it goes through the fragrance notes and descriptions by Killian said the inspiration came for at night, there are no rules but one. Just be smoking hot. That's really cheesy. Killian Paris' newest smoky fragrance is a truly caramelized delight. It features Kentucky Tobacco Absolute, infused with a hookah drag of apple-flavored shisha tobacco and intense bourbon vanilla with balsamic tonalities. Also known as pure jungle essence, bourbon vanilla, it is of the highest quality vanilla available, especially intense and textured. When crossed with Okanox, a powerful sensuality comes full circle. So just in general, we go back over the notes, apple, smoke, cinnamon, tobacco, moss, bourbon vanilla, and Orkinox. And we will get into it. Again, here's the box. It's a pretty plain box. It has uh, the, the writing on the back with the notes. And that's just about it. There's nothing on the sides. As you can see. And we'll get into the open. So it looks like it opens up like that, has the fragrance sitting in a foam, really nice foam cut out. Get it out. And here's the bottle. There. It's a 50 mil and it was 290 is what what the the retail price is of course this is another one that i was excited to get you know what i'm happy Hooray. let's get to spray 
Okay. Right off the bat, the smoke, the cinnamon, the tobacco comes right out. The apple is starting to become a little more prominent in it. But generally, what I'm getting is the, the smoke, tobacco type vibe. The cinnamon apple is still in the opening and you still smell it. There's a little bit of the bourbon vanilla. And we will see how that dries down. I'll come back and we'll get back into it. Six and a half hours later. Welcome back to Fragrance Connoisseurs. I've had some time to go through the dry down and digest Smoking Hot by Killian's. And here's the update. First of all, I give you my overall impressions. It is a dry tobacco and it has like an apple cinnamon hookah seashore type type feel to it. I really like tobacco uh, fragrances and this is tobacco heavy. So it's right up my alley. I really love it. And it is similar in the type of vein that I would say as Royal Tobacco. It's a dry tobacco, but where Royal Tobacco by Amawaz gives you more of, I would say, a cigar lounge feel that smoking hot gives you more of a distinct fruity tobacco hooker bar hooker lounge type feel. And those are the differences between maybe say some other uh, tobacco uh, fragrances, but this one because hookah can add a lot of different variations and a lot of different notes and a lot of different fruits and other type of uh, distinct characteristics to their tobacco. That's what this one reminds me of. People have compared this to Angel Share. I don't really get that at all. The only notes that I pick up that I pick up in Angel Share are the apple and the cinnamon. However, this one is a lot drier. It doesn't have the boozy note. So I don't get a direct comparison to Angel Share unless you want to talk about the apple and cinnamon vibe that's in it. Smoking Hot is a lot smokier where Angel Share really does not have that smoke uh, in it. And so I don't compare it to Angel Share even though it does have the apple and cinnamon notes in it. Longevity, I gave, gave it an eight. Basically, it's been on my skin for seven hours and it's still going strong. I can still smell it as far as being there. It is a long lasting fragrance. However, the projection was average to below average. And I give the projection a five. Unfortunately, this one lost its uh, projection right within two hours of or less. It, it did not perform well as far as projection. There was still some, some CIs when I was moving, when I moved my arms, when I walked around, I could still catch uh, wafts of it in the air, but it really went close to skin really quickly. This is unfortunately something that I see with some of the uh, Bikillion fragrances. In my opinion, Black Phantom is another one that sticks fairly close to the skin. I'm hoping that it's a new fragrance, just got shipped. And if you know anything about what happens during shipping, the fragrances really need some time to settle. Sometimes when you go through UPS and FedEx and the USPS mail system, your packages do get shifted around a little bit. And that gives it a mix that is not quite settled. So I'm hoping that it settles. Usually I try to get my fragrances at least one to two weeks before I open them and use them. However, this was a new fragrance release. So I wanted to get it out to you as soon as possible. 
Also, I'm hoping that after it macerates for about a month or two, that that will also give it a little more projection and a little more longevity. And we're, we're hoping that the usual hit or miss by Killian on whether the fragrance projects or not is more of a hit than a miss. I think Angel Share projects really well, but as I said, some of the other ones don't project as well. And that's just a by Killian's thing. Gender, I think it is very uh, male leaning. It is masculine leaning. It, because of the smokiness, because of the tobacco, to me, it would seem like more of a masculine fragrance. But again, the masculine, feminine lines have been blurred with modern fragrances. So I wouldn't worry if you find the scent profile and DNA to fit your skin chemistry. Anyone can wear it that likes to wear it. The price value, it's pretty typical for a by killing his fragrance. I paid $290 for this one. By Killian's price range usually ranges somewhere between $250 and $300 for a 50 mil. And it is considered a, a more middle to top line niche. Of course, it's not some of the niche as Roja or Spirit of Dubai that can be $1,000 and up. But this is typically their price range. So I can't give it too low of a mark because this is the range that most of their fragrances come into so i gave it a seven as far as price range the fragrance itself the smell and how i enjoyed it as as i was wearing it i give it an eight eight and a half eight point five it's really a great fragrance i really like the the smell it's not anything that is directly related to other fragrances that i have so I thought that was a, a really good uh, composition that was put together by, by Killian. The overall rating, comparing all those things together, I gave it a seven and a half. It really would have had an eight and a half if, if the projection and the, and the CIs was better. I'm hoping that I can tell you down the line that it did get better with, with macerating a month or two and that it's a, a really nice fragrance that I like to wear for this winter season coming up. I'm hoping that it will be in some of my most complimented in the winter fragrances that I have. All right, guys, well, that's my review. I wanted to get this out real quick on Smoking Hot, the new fragrance by Killian. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I say like, share, comment, and subscribe. We're putting out new comment, we're getting, we're putting out new content, and we're getting more and more things to add to our, our channel so that we can have a good fragrance uh, output to give to the fragrance community. Hope you like it. Take care. God bless.